I have to light in candles because of the smell of her outfit. Smell of what? Good morning everyone and welcome back to my vlog channel now. I am starting my vlog in the afternoon. I basically have been doing work and stuff all morning. So I wasn't gonna do like an actual vlog. I was more just gonna do like a chit chat little thing in my bedroom today because I didn't want to repeat of yesterday's vlog where I literally just did work all day. It's now the afternoon time however and I just got a call from Flawless Cosmetics saying I'm actually able to go and have my lips done again. Now I've wanted this done for such a long time. I've been trying to find space and time for me to actually go and get it done because obviously there's potential that it does bruise and I've been so so busy that with a podcast and stuff, I didn't think I'd have time to have bruised or swollen lips. To be fair, I had it back done in February. For those of you that don't know, I had my lips done by Flawless in February and it was the best thing I've ever done. But I literally haven't had time to go get a top up since then. I only had 0.5. There's still filler in my lips. Like, I know there's still filler in my lips. However, I watched videos before I had it done and then straight after I had it done, I went, oh my God, like, I need it done again. So, Flawless Cosmetics have been super, super kind, letting me vlog the entire thing. Obviously, I want to show you guys what it's like. However, I'm now running late so I just literally jumped up from my laptop because I've been doing work all day this is not how I intended this vlog to start I intended to do like a chill at home chatty vlog with Haz and Freya and here we are about to go and get my face injected but I'm really excited because I trust Flawless Cosmetics so my Uber's outside let's head off <laughs> I've got numbing cream on my lips. This is like the best numbing cream ever. I can already feel it working. I've just had to fill a bunch of forms in. Now I'm waiting to go in. <laughs> It's the weirdest sensation ever having your like lips numbed. I remember like when I go to the dentist and they'd numb like my gums to do like fillings and stuff. It's like that but on your lips and like when you move you can feel your lips touching together. It's as if they're not your lips. It's really weird. Anyway, Stacey who's doing my lips actually did them in Sheffield which I were on the way here in the Uber. I was sat there thinking I'm gonna have to explain why I'm getting it done and everything like that again. But Stacey did them last time so perfect. Literally perfect. now and it's so funny because when my lips feel so much more swollen than they actually are uh, as you can see there's little dabs of blood and stuff but I literally I'm so excited for like the swelling and the redness to go I'm really happy I need to now book an uber because there's no way I'm getting a tube like this it's gonna swell more I feel like I look like Mike Wazowski right now but Stacey's so lovely I'm so glad that I recognized the name when I spoke to the guy on the phone however I didn't actually think it would be her because like I said I got done in Sheffield last time but I'm so happy I cannot wait for like I said all the swelling and stuff to go down it didn't swell too much last time it didn't bruise much last time either. So we'll keep you updated. If you want to go anywhere and get it done, I honestly recommend Flawless. I would not let anyone else do this to my face. And it was also so quick. Like I was in there probably 10 minutes and it was done. But yeah, I'm now going to call an Uber and get back home. I'm excited for the Uber driver to look at me and be like, what the hell is going off? Because as you can see, my lips are a little bit swollen. Hola. It's starting to bruise there, look. Don't know if you can see that. We're just gonna have to ignore the fact that my lips are like this for now. Just because I'm gonna continue the rest of my day as I were gonna. I'm gonna vlog the rest of my day. But yeah, thank you so much to Flawless Cosmetics. I will leave all that Instagram and stuff down below. Basically, I should have mentioned this this morning. The original reason that I actually had my lips on in the first place. I know you're probably not gonna be able to take me seriously whilst I have lips like this. And also, they're really numb. So I don't feel like I'm moving my mouth much. But the original reason I had my lips on in the first place in February is because I wore braces for like five years. Oh no, four years. And and I had a metal bar obviously pushing my lips forward so when I had my braces removed it felt like they actually took my lip with them so I basically just had 0.5 mil in the top of my lip and obviously in the bottom to level it out it's not excessive I'm not doing it to be like super pouty whether you want to do that or not is entirely up to you but I personally I'm not doing it for that reason I'm just doing it because I got used to what my face looks like when I had braces on and then when I had my braces removed I was super insecure when speaking or when smiling I'll insert some photos on screen of how small my lip actually was so thankfully Flawless Cosmetics came 
came in clutch at the right time and like I said I wanted to have it done again and have a top up for the longest time but obviously it swells up a little bit bruises a little bit and I've been so busy like filming the podcast and stuff I didn't want to have like swollen lips or not be able to speak properly or sound weird or even like having a bunch of meetings like we've been having lately like, I didn't want to go into meetings with like big swollen bruised lips you know because you never know how it's going to go each person responds differently and it ha you react differently each time you have it done so this is what the swelling is currently looking like I'll do a little update as the day goes on I love the woman that does it uh, she's really really nice and she listens to exactly what you want as well anyway in conclusion thank you so much Flawless for obviously doing this for me it actually means a lot I would definitely recommend going if you're going to go anywhere I definitely do recommend Flawless I know they have clinics up and down the country so have a look on their Instagram do all that stuff and yeah I'll update you throughout the day how my lips are going but I need to eat I realised that I've only had breakfast this morning and now it's like half past one in the afternoon and I have had no food so I'm going to go into the kitchen get myself some food hopefully I can eat it properly without like my lips feel numb so I don't feel like I know where my lips actually are right now so we'll have to work on that also I wore my new bag for the first time it's really really cool very nice oh my god I can't do that because my lips are too numb <laughs> Right, it's been a couple hours since I've actually filmed anything. I've literally just been chilling in Hazard's room. My lips aren't numb anymore, so I can actually move them around. I know that my top one's swollen. I don't think my bottom one is. As you can see, there's a little bit of bruising happening there, which is probably going to get worse. But it's not as bad as it was last time. Like, I remember last time literally sitting there thinking, oh my god, my lips are so swollen. Maybe I'm just like familiar with what it's like, because I've obviously had it done before. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of today. I was thinking... Because I have all my mum and dad's birthday birthday presents, all my mum and dad's Christmas presents all just on my desk, all packaged up. Just because obviously I've got to take it back home with me when I go home, so I'm going to put it in my suitcase. But I don't know if to leave it packaged like that, because then I can go home and find the like, actual like Christmas packaging. Unpackage it from the like cardboard packaging. I feel like I've said packaging <gasps> so many times. I don't know if to unbox it from there, to travel back home with it unboxed, then to just wrap it up, or if to just wait and just like unpackage it all at home, and then just wrap it up straight away. So I'm currently just deciding what to do because I don't really have much to do this evening. I don't know what to do really. I'm gonna watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians now, lay in my bed. I feel really free because I got all my editing done yesterday so like my vlog's already edited. I could I could edit another vlog to make sure I'm like extra in front but I think I'm gonna do that later when I've got like a cup of tea. I'm gonna sit in my bed and just edit but right now I'm gonna see what to do with those parcels and also yeah I might call my mum actually and chat to my mum. That's what I'm gonna do. I just realised I didn't tell my mum that I had my lips redone today so I'm gonna ring her. Oh, she's not gonna answer. Love that. You FaceTimed me earlier. Yeah, I did. And what happened? You didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> I just rang you because I had my lips redone today. Oh, yeah, you can tell. Hi everyone, this is what I got from Body Shop. So, I was wearing it as a sleep mask and it's the fluffiest thing ever. So I've just decided to wear it because my hair was pissing me off that it kept falling into my face. I thought I was gonna get a haircut today, but it is now almost seven o'clock and I am obviously not getting a haircut. It has normally cuts with my hair anyway, but I don't wanna bother her, she's in her room doing something, so I'm gonna get a haircut tomorrow instead. Also, I'm gonna bleach my hair tomorrow, I think. Hopefully. I need to go to Westfields anyway, so I'm gonna get up, go to Westfields, get the toners, because I have the bleach I mentioned earlier, but I need to go and get the toners. I've just been catching up on some people's Vlogmases. I'm gonna be really sad when Vlogmas is over. I feel like last year I didn't really appreciate Vlogmas, i.e. I didn't really watch that many people's vlogs. However, this year I've made a point of every single night getting into bed or just sitting down at some point with a cup of tea and actually watching people's vlogs. That being said, I'm watching the vlogs without a cup of tea, so maybe I'll go into the kitchen and make myself some tea. I've also got a bunch of washing. There's currently sat at the end of my bed that I need to put away so I need to do that. Also update on my lips the swelling I don't know if the swelling's gone down it still is quite swollen in the middle however wouldn't mind my lips to stay this size I just um yeah the bruising's not great and I feel like that's only gonna get darker like every time I pick up my camera it gets darker so I'm just keeping them moisturized but they don't hurt I can't feel it I can't remember what it felt like afterwards last time but I think because last time I was really aware that I had my lips done I like didn't I avoided like smiling and weren't really talking too much so like, oh my god I don't want to like fuck it up but obviously you can't fuck it up from talking and smiling so I've just been literally going on as normal so I think that's took the swelling down because I remember last time by this point I literally had ice on my lips so I think that's helped that I'm still moving them and like still keeping blood flow 
Mm. Still keeping blood fro still keeping blood flowing through my lips. There we are. Right, Haz has just come running up the corridor like an excited little kid to show me her jeans. I want to get my reaction on camera. Good. Oh wow, they're so fun. That one's my favourite. Oh my god, you could actually sell them. People well, would buy shit like that. They don't fit me, so I think I'm going to. But with this, right, oh, wow. you can see the biro from where I did can it. Can I film this? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Do you think I should put white thread around them? Yeah, or even black thread. Oh, they're so fun. fun. Aren't they? Yeah, you should do that on the front, like stuff like that on the front of them as well. That's so fun. I wanted those black trousers. I'm going to say they like the ones that yeah, you were going to buy. Yeah, they're far too expensive, so. Oh, they are oh, really fun. Yeah. No one invited you. Uh, I was in here first. Get that annoying girl out of the vlog. <laughs> Any Maltesers in the fridge? In a sec. I hate when. Why do you keep chocolate in the fridge? Has does. I don't know if that's a normal thing. None of my family do. In fact, my cousin does. It's not a normal thing. So if you're watching this, you keep your chocolate in the fridge. Just now, it's not a normal thing. I'm having a little Pizza Express classic margarita moment. Where is the. Oh, our cupboard is a mess. Little baking try. Don't mind if I do. Right, just ignore this thing on my head. My hair's pissing me off and has not cut it. So, <laughs> I'm joking. It's Sorry, I was too busy smelling, apparently. <laughs> We've just been sat in Hazard's room. Uh, can I tell my vlog this? Yeah, no, do you know what? I can actually tell your vlog this. So, my biggest pet peeve is if my breath smells or if I smell, because it's me that has to deal with it. And I hate it when people don't tell me, because I had a thing. <laughs> I thought it was just you that could smell it. So then whenever I smell, I want someone to be like, has. You fucking smell. <laughs> but the thing is that I had a shower or a bath, sorry, five hours ago. I basically had stunk <laughs> like shit. Like, actually, I could <laughs> so smell me and We just had basically an honesty hour in Hazard's room where we were telling each other all our pet peeves about each I other. Have good hygiene. We should have vlogged that. That would have been funny for people really to watch. Um, anyway, we're now going to sit down at Hazard's lighting candles because what of the it? smell of our office. Smell of what office? We are now this playing Monopoly, which has got gifted from Primark. We didn't realise it actually was Primark Monopoly, like, Plain tea. Where's You've the got a scented candle. Oh, Saffron Barker's collection. <laughs> it didn't actually say Saf's collection, but this what? is just Where's the most the random just... thing. Little black dress. Oh, I hope I win an air this accessory. Is... We're okay. gonna play one up later. Anyway. I'm gonna time that six. We're gonna put music and stuff on. But that's how our night is ending. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea it's now. It's ending at ten o'clock. Um, it's literally I don't ten o'clock. Normally, people would be drinking wine and we're drinking a cup of tea. Yeah, we're not really big party anymore. Relatable. British. Oh yeah, Fran, I just put sugar in your glass. No, you haven't. Did I not just say? Just put sugar in your glass. Has if you actually been drinking? No, she has. That's going to be undrinkable because I can't drink sugar. She can't drink sugar, you know, she can't. Oh, she lactose and toddler, aunt. No. No, has she really can't drink sugar? I really can't drink sugar, Matty. She's 12. I really can't drink sugar, Matty. She can't. You just had a fat Coca-Cola. No, she can't. She'll be shaking all that. She can't. Because if he doesn't taste nice. Right, you're gonna spill my tea if you carry on. She's trembling. She has. No, I am. I'm being dead serious, she has. Taste it. Taste it and see. Your spoons in your teeth, add your milk. You're basically counteracting the sugar in the tank there. So you're like, oh, I love strong tea. But you don't. Well, you know what, Frank? I should have put sugar in your tea now because it was all a big prank. But now I regret it. Because you're fucking rude. Ruin my holiday. I was gonna say, don't do that. Ruin my holiday. Not. Right, Byron, show you where Ooh. my phone is then. Yes, you have! Has, I've not! You piece of shit! Why would I fucking take your damn phone? Yeah. Has, I've, you've literally seen my every move since we've been in here. It was in here, now it's gone! So where have you put it? <laughs> I've literally just put my speaker right. in my bedroom. Has, so I'm like, I know oh, You're the only one that's been in here the entire time. Oh, right. Where has it gone? It's, I've not got the fucking phone! <laughs> it was there! Nothing, I've not got it. Why are you looking in my cupboard, bitch? I've not touched it. Why would I put it in my own cupboard if I touched it, bitch ass? Which means you put it somewhere else. Byron! Where have you put it? Oh, is it in the Monopoly box? <laughs> it's in the fucking Monopoly! <laughs> it's in the Monopoly box! Night, everyone! No, 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 no,
Thanks, Tiana Lee. I can't believe how bruised my lip is. See, lip liner, Velvet Teddy by my. I'm gonna end my vlog here. If you enjoyed it, smash a big thumbs up. I don't know what the hell I did in this vlog besides get my lips done. I wanna just say a massive thank you again. Oh my god, again to Flawless Cosmetics. Please do go follow their Instagram, show them some love. I'll obviously keep you updated throughout the next few days about my lip, my lip journey. But obviously, you'll see the swelling go down and also the bruising go as well. But yes, thank you so much for doing my lips and stuff. That was amazing. Honestly, it means a lot. So, thank you guys, and I will see you in the morning with a brand new vlog, so stay Night. tuned. <laughs> she was shouting it to my vlog frame, but alright. Night! Night. Bye! <laughs>